Good morning. In the last few weeks, we've seen a, a number of videos being made uh, that have exposed uh, great heresy on uh, YouTube. Uh, uh, Blaine Audi uh, made a series of videos describing how Calvinism relates to Islam. Uh, King James only uh, one. Uh, Tim made a series of videos explaining the heresy of hyper-Calvinism. And uh, Soldiers of the Cross have led a, uh, a creating a series of videos led the move against Final Call 07 exposing his heresies. Now, to many people looking at these separate videos, it might seem that these are just separate issues. They are not. Uh, they are actually different battles fighting the same war. There's a spiritual war going on uh, in, on YouTube among the Christian community about truth. Is truth objective? Is truth knowable? Is truth something we can hold in our hand, the Bible? Or is it innate? Is it uh, just given to man uh, by a vision? Now Calvinism believes there's a secret will of God. Calvinism comes as far as the theological father uh, is uh, Augustine, who was a Platonist. Uh, Plato, Plato had the view of innate knowledge. Hyper-dispensationalism, likewise, their father was Bollinger, who himself was also a Calvinist, and therefore also related to the concept of a mystical view and an innate idea. That's why when you show them the scriptures, they believe they have a, a vision from God that shows them something else than what you're showing them. And of course, Final Call has already been exposed as a mystic, He's denied the scriptures. He's denied the, the uh, truth of God. Now, this idea of getting away from objective truth versus a subjective truth is crucial to Satan's goals. He has to get people away from what the Bible says. Uh, in a, a book called War on the Saints, uh, this is pointed out. Uh, I'm going to read from page 58. For the knowledge of truth is the first essential for warfare with the lying spears of Satan. And truth must be eagerly sought for and faced with earnest and sincere desire to know it and obey it in the light of God. Truth concerning ourselves, discerned by unbiased dis dis discrimination, truth from the scriptures, uncolored, unstrained, unmutilated, undiluted, truth in facing facts of experience in all members of the body of Christ and not one section alone. And moving on. It's another page, page 220. Page 220. Uh, in true guidance, spirit of mind or one accord in intelligence is not in rebellion against the leading of spirit, as it is so often in counterfeit guidance by evil spirits when the man is compelled to act in obedience to what he thinks is of God, supernaturally given, and fears to obey. This all refers to guidance from the, sub from the subjective standpoint. But it must be emphasized in addition that all true guidance from God is in harmony with the scriptures. I'm going to repeat that. All true guidance from God is in harmony with the scriptures. The understanding of the will of God by the mind depends upon the mind being saturated with the knowledge of the written word and true consciousness in the spirit depends upon its union with Christ through the indwelling spirit of God. And on page 251, Page 251. <clears throat> Satan's war on the saints can be summed up in, up in the one word, wiles of the devil. He does not work in the open, but always behind cover. The methods of the deceiving spirits are adapted to each one with the skill and cunning gained by years of experience. Generally, the wiles are primarily directed against the mind or thoughts, and apart from yielding to known sin, most of the workings of Satan in a believer's life may be traced back to a wrong thought or belief admitted into the mind and not recognized to be from deceiving spirits. E.g., if a believer only thinks and believes that all that Satan done is, does is manifestly bad, Satan has only to clothe himself with good to gain full credence with that man. The war, therefore, is a war of deceit and counterfeit. And only, those can, don't, and only those can stand against all the wiles of the deceiver who seek the fullest truth from God, about God, Satan, and themselves. So this is what we're in here, uh, a war. A war against uh, the lie. 
And it's a mythological war. It's a war about thinking. When Pilate asked Christ, he says, what is truth? That can always be the great debate in mankind. What is truth? Is it subjective or is it objective? Uh, and uh, on YouTube, there's a war being fought to gain the hearts and minds of uh, young Christians and to think, let them think that truth is something uh, that, uh, that you can bypass Scripture. That's not something you can read Scripture uh, and find truth but uh, you can learn it from a philosophy and impose it on truth. Uh, you can see it uh, by uh, a vision that God is going to give you directly, and therefore you can deny what Scripture clearly states. Uh, or you can bypass the Scripture because God has shown you something, and uh, you can't be checked. This is satanic. This is uh, uh, a while of the devil. And uh, those who have risen up, in three separate battles, uh, they're fighting this battles, they're all fighting the same war, a uh, spiritual war. Uh, and uh, the, so when uh, 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 Brain Alley describes Calvinism akin to uh, Islam, she is absolutely correct. That's exactly what it's like because they share the same mental uh, methodology of fatalism. What could be more fatalistic than telling a man he's either elect or non elect uh, before he's even born? And uh, therefore, if he's, he can't, if he's not saved, there's nothing he can do about it. Uh, the hyper dispensationalists who want to throw out the Lord's Supper and uh, believe a baptism, and then who deny that uh, there were people in Christ in the body before Paul, uh, and by clear, clear scripture, by clear teaching, uh, refuse to deny that. Why? Because they see something that's not in scripture, and they refuse to, to uh, uh, conform to scripture. And uh, false prophets who are coming out and now telling people that uh, they have a spirit that tells them they can bypass scripture. They have another spirit. They have another Christ. This is a false spirit. Uh, we're going to see a, a long drawn out war here. Uh, the enemy is strong. The enemy is fierce. The enemy is zealous. And we Christians must not back away from this fight. It is going to be a war, a long drawn out war, and the enemy will try to wear us down. They will try to get us frustrated. They will try to uh, 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 pretend that uh, uh, we can't win it. Uh, but today, on July 4th, a new nation was started, and it took us eight years to win that war. It took us eight years of men who were willing to put later lives on the line, not sunshine patriots, but men who were willing to endure whatever it took to spread the truth. We must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So no man who wars and tangles himself in the, in the affairs of this world that may please him who chose him to be a soldier. Paul says, I fought the good fight. Christianity is not about uh, peace. It's about war. Uh, Christ says, I didn't bring a, can't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. And so, but we don't fight against flesh and blood. We can fight against spiritual warfare, against principalities and powers. So young Christians out there, don't be, don't be surprised at what you're going to see in the last next few months, next few years, whatever it takes, that there's going to be a war being fought. And the enemy wants you to think that's all uh, uh, our side. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is that they are representing an evil, an evil, a satanic evil, and they must be resisted. They must be fought. They must be exposed for what they are, representing a satanic lie. And uh, that has been the uh, uh, what has been going on in YouTube for the last uh, couple few weeks. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a lot more. It's going to get a lot more fierce in the in the future, because Satan now has been fully exposed. Uh, the uh, the root has been exposed as a, a total lie of thinking, of thinking, uh, of a, uh, not depending on scripture, but depending on their own man's views. And once that, once that aspect of Satan is exposed, uh, he now turns more fiercely to defend that ground because the root of his uh, lie has now been exposed and he cannot hide it, that all these heresies are linked to one source, Satan himself. Amen. Happy July 4th and God bless America.